of a nation must now develop an overriding loyalty. Welcome to Diversity TV, news and commentary. I'm Troy Shaw. Now it's the time to respond, my commentary, to respond to the YouTubers out there that really took offense to my comments on Bill Cosby. Look, here's the deal. I still believe firmly that Bill Cosby and his generation dropped the ball on civil rights. Basically, his generation forgot about one main important thing that existed when the civil rights movement started. Family. We didn't push a man and a woman family, African-American family, being solvent and holistic. What we became more, uh, more or less is just thinking about ourselves and just thinking about what we just need to take care of self. And in the essence of that, we lost almost two generations of black people during that time period. That's what you did. I still believe firmly that your Judge Judy approach is not going to work. People in that particular economic status can care less about you telling them to pull themselves up by them bootstraps. And what's wrong with your kids when they can sit back and have their pants hanging down and, and don't know exactly what to do or how to speak and what to say? They can care less about that, Bill. We're beyond that, unfortunately, right now. Right now, I think it's very, very important to go through the process of educating them what happened to them. Because for right now, a lot of them do not know what they do not know. Why? I was in the same boat. Didn't know what I didn't know. And then I became self-aware by brothers and sisters basically educating me what happened to me. Yes, Bill, that's right. I was on welfare for 18 years of my life growing up in, in, in some of the inner city slums of American society, unfortunately. But when I became self-aware and I understood that education was the key, because, Bill, my father wasn't in my life. He wasn't at home. The only person that I had in my life was my mother. And then there were some other key individuals who came into my. But it wasn't until I became aware of what was happening to me that I then made the decision that education was the forefront of my life. And Bill, in your message right now, you are not letting them understand and or know what happened to them. See, audience will not listen to you. Your audiences will probably clap. They're clapping for your fame, Bill. They're clapping because they get to see Bill Cosby. You know, they're clapping for the fame. Oh, whoa, whoa, Bill Cosby's there. But the fact of the matter is, is that if your message is going to resonate, you have to give them a basis of understanding of what went down, what happened. And let them know that a generation, your generation, Bill, dropped the ball on civil rights. Now, I'm not coming out here just to batter, to, to badger Bill Cosby. He's a good man. I love what he has done in the context of his life as far as entertainment is concerned. But now you're getting into a realm, a realm of trying to get people to understand to be better people. And unfortunately, your television programs don't come into play now. You have to make a, a consistent effort of letting people know what happened to them. One may say, Bill, that you're maybe out of touch right now because of your age and your wealth. I'm saying that the context of the way that you're explaining it now, how you're explaining them to lift themselves up now is not going to work. And it is out of touch. The biggest thing that you have to explain to people these days, specifically the African-American family of the African-American people, is that family is the key, is the key to a successful African-American unit. Education will make a play into that, but family is the key. And with family, you will be able to go have a great education, building back up the units, uh, the family units that became so prevalent in the earlier parts of last century. I think for the most part, Bill, it's a good message, but it's not a message that will work and resonate with the current population of people who you are trying to reach. Oh, yeah, I hear it. I think it's a great thing. But if you had came to me when I was down here in regards to the economic statuses that I was at that time, I wouldn't be trying to hear you because I'm thinking about eating the next day. And to all you YouTubers out there who think that I'm just going about just trying to rank on Bill Cosby, please. There's more brothers and sisters out there who believe the exact same way that I believe Bill Cosby's 
generation dropped the ball on civil rights. I'm not just trying to come after you. I'm just saying, man, I want to help you in your process of helping these people. But the way that you're delivering this message is not going to work, brother. It's just not. Let them know what happened to them. Own up to the fact that we dropped the ball. And then allow them to make the decision then after then the decision to be better people economically, health wise, with their children and for God's sakes, with their family. That was Diversity TV, news and commentary. I'm Troy Shaw, and I'll see you very soon. We believe that all men are created equal. Yet many are denied equal treatment. Every nation must now develop an overriding loyalty.